Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. So it's about 5.30 in the morning. We're going after some smallmouth here. Um, that's that's the goal at least, just throwing around some jerk baits, a jig, and whatever else we got, maybe a lipless. See, see what happens, see what they're feeling. So let's get to fishing and let's have a good one. Woo. So I'm gonna start out here with a jerk bait. Whenever I get to ponds that I don't know very well. I like to throw around a jerk bait, kind of get a feel of what's going on. I mean, you guys see me do this every video, so we're we're gonna we're gonna keep doing it um, at least until we get to know what's going on. And I don't think there's as many pickerel here, so I'm not too worried. Oh, that's a fish right there. Hopefully, a small though. Yeah, that's a smallie on the jerk bait. Woo. Look at that guy. What's up, bud? Look at that guy. My bad, bud. Look at that guy right there on the jerk bait. Woo. Massachusetts smallmouth. Gotta love it. These things are so aggressive. But yeah, that's a. That's a nice one right there. We've been throwing um, the jerk bait for. I'll release them. Okay. No. Oh. There he goes. Woo! Good stuff. Good stuff. Finally a smallmouth. I mean, I caught a tiny one last week in that jig video, but that that's. That's a much more fun one right there. I'm um, just throwing around this jerk bait. I've been throwing this around for, I mean, I've been switching up between this and the jig, but it's been about 20 minutes out here and I've just been moving down this coast and this guy just hammered it right in front of me. So, gotta love the smallmouth bite. That's a fish on the jig. I was eating a protein bar, so was not exactly paying attention. That's a largey. Look at that guys, right on the jig right there. This is that same jig that I made that video about. Whew. I'll link it in the description if you guys haven't seen it, but these jigs I got for $2.50 a piece. That guy choked it. And there we go, just an all black jig with that black and blue trailer slowly working across the bottom and this guy just picked it up I was eating a protein bar and I saw my line just go down hook set him got him in there we go he's bug that's a fish right there on the jerk bait there he is it's another nice little smallmouth. Just got another smallmouth right there on this little lucky craft. It's a deep diving jerk bait. I was just working it really slow right along this drop off here. This guy picked it up. Thanks, bro. There he goes. What I like to do with deep diving jerk baits, in this, especially in the spring, is I like to cast it a little bit out from the drop off and just, I'll work it really fast at first to get it down deep into the water. And then what I'll do is I'll just twitch it every couple seconds, kind of just slowly getting it to dart back and forth across the bottom of the lake. And it, I mean, it depends if your jerk bait is a suspending, sinking or floating jerk bait. Mine's a suspending, so it works pretty well. Um, the sinking ones could get too low 
to the bottom and get weeds or get stuck up in rocks. Um, and the floating ones, you'll have to work faster. But that's how I got that last guy. And I've just been switching up between the other jerk bait, which doesn't dive as deep. I've been throwing that in towards shore. And then I've been fishing the jig just all around. There's another one on the other jerk bit. This is my shallower diving jerk bit. What's up, bud? Oh, he's barely hooked. There we go. And he came off right in the boat. <laughs> Look at that smallie right there, right on the Livingston jerk bit. Woo. There we go. Another decent one out here. Just took the end of the jerk bit. I saw he was barely hooked, so I just flipped him in and he came off on the boat. Woo. Thanks for biting, bro. There he goes. So yeah, with this jerk bit, I'll show you guys. But yeah, with this jerk bait, I've been fishing it very different from the deep diving jerk bait. I've just been, well, we'll wait for it to go on. With this one, I've been kind of fishing it pretty fast. Um, I've been doing two twitches and a pause, and I've just been working it in pretty fast. Um, the water's not too cold. Like, there's another one right there. The water's not too cold, but, um, it is still spring and it's been a kind of cold spring, so it's not warm by any means, but you, you can feel free to work these jerk baits fast and the smallmouth especially will still be hitting them. There's two in a row right there on this jerk bait. It's another smallie. What's up, bud? There's another guy right there. That's a cool colored smallmouth. Yes. But yeah, that's how I've been fishing that shallower diving jerk bait. Just pretty fast, um, keeping a nice rhythm going. And yeah, casting closer to shore than with the deep diving one. There's another one. They seem to be stacked up here, or just as it's getting warmer, they're coming out. Chase and I were talking about how the bite heats up towards the end of the day and that it's nice to come out in the morning but it's usually not the best oh i was not expecting a pickerel well there are pickerel here i was beginning to think that or hope that there weren't pickerel here but there are There. He's got off, which is good. I was about to bring him in the boat. I'm gonna have to get some pliers. But he let himself free. But yeah, as I was saying before that pickerel came to join us, uh, the fishing's been a lot better in the afternoon after the water's had time to warm up throughout the day. But it's just been so windy in the afternoon that I've been coming out in the morning. Also, there's a lot of people fishing in the afternoon, so I like to get there before everyone else does. Um, so that, it probably cancels out. The morning's just nice, and it's good to be there first, pretty much. So I've been going out a lot in the morning. Um, it's been a little slow some mornings. Like this morning, it's just starting to pick up now, or it seems like it's starting to pick up now. Um, I think I got two fish in the first like hour and a half, two hours, and then got three, four more right there, if you include the pickerel. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's at least heating up out here, and let's ho hopefully we can get some more smallmouth. I've been missing smallmouth fishing so. That was my main goal today. And we've got four so far, so I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled. Um, but you know, 
always happy to catch more. I'm just throwing around the jig right now. And then I'll probably throw the jerk bait down here, see, see what's up. But yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day. There's a storm coming in, I think, so I'm gonna get off pretty early. Probably only fish for four hours or so this morning. But it's 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 nice out right now. There's one on the jerk bait. Oh, he's either swimming really fast or he came off. Oh, he's swimming fast. He's swimming fast. We got the lightning McQueen of like smallmouth here. What's up, bud? Look at that guy right there. Right on the jerk bait. I've just been casting. I moved to the other shoreline. We were right over there before, just paddled across. It's like third cast down this shoreline. And this guy came up and took the jerk bait. Good nice. There he goes. Oh, there's one on the deep diving. Oh, he pulled off on me. I mean, am I surprised? No. I was, I thought I had leaves on from a diving deeper, so I reeled it, was reeling it in fast to me, and he just came up and took it. That was fun. That was fun. This time I got leaves. There's one right there on the jerk bit. Yeah, that's a smallie. I just moved over to these reeds here. Looks like he's hooked in the side, so. Oh, he's hooked in the mouth, I think. So, you know how it be. There we go. There's another one on the jerk bait. They've been crushing it out here. I just moved over to these reeds and cast, first cast right in front of these reeds. This guy came up and grabbed it back into the water. And on your way, there he goes. All right guys, so we're gonna end it on that last fish. The wind is picking up here, so I'm gonna head out, make sure I can paddle back and it won't take too long. It'll st it's still gonna take me like 20 or 30 minutes in this thing, but it was worth it, it was worth it. We were able to get the smallmouth I was looking for, finally made it out here um, and got a largemouth. Got a pickerel, which I like was very skeptical that they were even in here, but the the jerk bait bite was on today. I'm um, just moving it pretty fast, which is nice because I I don't like moving jerk baits really slow. That's not as fun. So I'm happy it was like that, and yeah, I'm just really dying. It was a good day though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace, bros.